Welcome back everyone. So this is the Therm Pro uh, live, um, live like a pro, indoor humidity and temperature monitor, no time. Which at the time I bought it, I was really, the te uh, really I wanted the temperature and the relative humidity. But um, it doesn't have the time, which is fine. When you open it up, they give you two heavy-duty batteries. Uh, that's no go. You know, you should have uh, alkaline batteries. They'll last a lot more. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? We got uh, some phone numbers for customer support. And we have a nice little manual. Tells you the display. Seems to have a magnet in the stand, battery compartment. Um, seems like uh, AAA batteries. Temperature range goes from 58 Fahrenheit to 158 Fahrenheit. Or, I'm sorry, minus 58 Fahrenheit to 158 Fahrenheit. Minus 50 degrees centigrade to 70 degrees centigrade. Relative humidity goes from 10% to 99%, not lower than 10, interesting. You can use centigrade, Fahrenheit. The resolution of the temperature is 0.1 and relative, uh, the humidity resolution is 1%. Very nice. Backlight function, refresh rate every 10 seconds. If it's dry, it's 30 or below percent. Comfort, 30% to 60%. And if it's wet, it's above 60%. And the low battery indicator, please replace the batteries. Okay. And so uh, these look like magnets, and they are. You also have a little hook here, not a hook, but a hole where you can put a nail in and then you can put it against the wall. That's nice. And we open this up. I'm going to put some alkaline batteries. Doesn't say you can't. And alkaline batteries are much better. All right, we'll find out. Close it. Has a stand. Very nice, isn't it? And aha, look at that. Let's take this off. Okay. You got some arrows. Don't know what that is. 36% relative humidity. All-time high is 36, low is 36. The temperature high is 26.3 <laughs> um, centigrade. And the low is 26.2. Let's do uh, Fahrenheit. Wow, 79 degrees in here. Pretty warm. We're in the fall, actually. Oh, it's a little hard to see, isn't it? But you can see it there. All-time all-time high or 24 hours so we're going to put 24 hours you can see that it says comfort so it's we're between 30 to 60 i believe it was wow it just went up in temperature the sensor must be somewhere around here and then there are these arrows i wonder what these arrows mean uh, Let's look very quickly. And the notes, ah, aha. Temperature and humidity trends. An arrow going up indicates that temperature and humidity is in an increasing trend. Ah, a flat line indicates the temperature and humidity is in no change trends and down. Oh, okay. All right, nothing to do with the battery. So that arrow right here just says there's, there's no trend. No, um, no time. Again, Fahrenheit, centigrade, relative humidity. Oh, and then the light. Oh, you can sort of see it there, can't you? Okay, great. With these, you won't be able to see it very well. Um, doesn't doesn't have enough uh, current. Very nice. Isn't that nice? And it glows like that and with the stand you can have a stand right there beautiful 
The only thing is that it doesn't have the time. It would be nice if it did have the time. But I have this ana analog clock that I got at Ikea. The first one I bought was horrible. But ever since then, um, I got a new one and it's working very nicely. So these pair up very nicely, don't they? Uh, would be nice in, if it was all in one, but it's not. And very strange that it isn't. I'm sure there's another device. And who knows? I might just get another device that does do that. But it'll be perfect for the moment. And the reason why I have a, uh, um, a device that gives me the relative humidity is because I want to know what the relative humidity is inside my room because of my 3D printer and with the filament. Apparently, if the filament is the relative humidity of the filament, I guess, or the amount of water that it has, if it's, be if it's below 20 uh, percent, then it's going to print out the resolution very nicely. If it's 30 percent, it'll do sort of okay, and the higher it goes, the higher the relative humidity that it absorbs the water or the filament, the worse it's going to print out. Okay. So this is the Therm Pro. And if you like it, definitely I got the link for you so that you can purchase it on Amazon. All right. Do you have any comments? Please put them in the comment section. If you buy one, please tell us. And I hope you have a great semester. All right, bye-bye.